A local developer donated $100,000 to help improve West Greenville. Taft Award Investments gave the money as part of a deal to purchase land from the city. WNCT's Brandon Goldner finds out what city leaders and people in the community want to do with that money. Nelson Everett's lived in Greenville for about 25 years. He's known around here as the bicycle man. I fix bikes on a daily basis. The toughest bike part to repair? Everyone calls it a figure eight. This small thing there is giving you such a problem. In a way, West Greenville's the figure eight of the city. Greenville's quality of life dashboard says the median income for Nelson's neighborhood is about $23,000. That's $16,000 less than the city average. Neighborhood nuisance violations and violent crimes are above average. But some of West Greenville's problems may start to get fixed. Taft Ward Investments donated $100,000 to help revitalize the area as part of a deal with the city to acquire land. City Council Member Rose Glover is helping to get people living here together to decide where to invest that money. She would like to use it to fix up people's homes. Because the more we fix up our community, the more people will want to move in our community. Like Nelson's neighborhood, which she says could use the money. I think that's wonderful, that's like totally necessary. Just as necessary as that figure eight on a bike, he knows how to fix it. No big deal if you know the thing, but you have to know for certainty. As for his home? Deterioration, of it, such as my spot here. I love so dear, but I um, can use a bit of help. A bit of help from that $100,000 to start solving a much larger figure eight. In West Greenville, Brandon Goldner, nine on your side. The $100,000 donation will be discussed at tonight's city council meeting, which just started.